The list began after her first attempt. A list of everything brilliant about the world. Everything worth living for. I started the list on November 9th, 1967. I had been late being picked up from school and was taken straight to the hospital, which is where my mom was. Now, up until that day, my only experience of death had been that of my dog, Sherlock Bones. Hi, I'm Tom Quaintance, producing artistic director of Virginia Stage Company, and I'm joined today uh, with two of my friends, uh, Kathy Hunter-Williams, Jeff Mianza. We have been working on Every Brilliant Thing, a fantastic play which opens soon, but we've been working on now for almost a year. Mm -hmm. So you've been in this piece, this piece that deals with the brilliant things in life, this piece that deals with suicide and depression for a year now. Talk a little bit about what that journey's been, uh, and if you remember at all, <laughs> where we started. I didn't know the play when you first brought it up. The idea of working with the two of you was, of course, the first most exciting thing for me. But then when I actually got into the text, I was really taken with it because it's so unique in how it functions as a play and, and how it approaches the subject of suicide in particular and, and treats it as the epidemic that it is. I didn't even read it. I just said yes because I was like, yeah, you and Jeff, absolutely, I'll do it. I'm in. And then I read it. Mm. And I remember thinking, I was like, how is Tom going to do this? Mm because of the nature of the play with the audience interaction. When you said you wanted to do it with both of us, I was like, well, what are we gonna do? Is it one of us gonna play the audience? Is one of us gonna have it? And I trust you, so I was like, I don't know how he's gonna do it, but he'll figure it out. When I was asked how are we gonna do this, my response was, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna figure it out. But I've never worked on a show that has two actors sharing a role. Mm -hmm. right? um, and the idea of, it's gonna be two different plays, with the two of you uh, was something that was exciting to me. And, and I think one of the things that we, we've also talked about, um, which is worth noting, is casting the two of us, uh, an African-American woman and a queer man, these are epidemics within our communities, yeah. very specifically. Right. And so I think that they'll relate even more deeply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a specificity to the writing that, you know, as, as we like to say in theater, the more specific it is, the more relatable. Mm -hmm. And and I think that there, it, it provides so many paths in for audience to, to connect with, yeah. with the, the narrator character, with us. Yeah, there's a way in for everybody. And it really does what theater does the best because it is a communal experience. Mm -hmm. And that the audience is not going to be looking at us up on a stage and watching us go through this experience alone, right? And in a way that helps everybody to be transformed by the end of the play. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the brilliance of the writing, you know? Catherine Hunter Williams, Jeffrey Mianza, what would you prefer? Oh, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> All three names. Any, we can use them in any combination. All right, anyway. yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna start over again. I am Tom Quaintance, producing... <laughs>